Now, it's a record that no one wanted to be broken. Wars around the world have pushed the number of internally displaced people to the highest level ever recorded. With conflicts raging in Gaza, Sudan and the Democratic Republic of Congo, the number of internally displaced people rose to nearly 76 million in 2023, up 50% from five years ago. In Gaza, people have been forced to move multiple times to escape Israeli bombardment, creating a total of three and a half million displacements and over one and a half million Palestinians being internally displaced by the end of 2023. In Sudan, the number was nearly double that, with six million displacements since civil war broke out in April 2023 between the army and rival paramilitary forces. Well, Christelle Kazaba is head of programmes at the Internal Displacement Monitoring Centre, the organisation behind this report. Welcome to the programme, Christelle. Good to see you. Uh, uh, sadly, of course, uh, Thank this, you for isn't having the, me. this isn't the first time uh, the world has seen multiple conflicts at the same time. So why are we seeing so many displaced people now? Yes, you're right. Uh, actually, year after year, we break this record, sadly. Um, this year is quite exceptional. We do have five million more people living in internal displacement compared to our previous record at the end of 2022. And we have several reasons behind this increase. Um, most of the people that were internally displaced in 2023 were so because of conflicts and violence, as you rightly pointed. We do have about one in 10 of them who were displaced as a result of disasters as well. But what is really leading to this increase is the fact that the people who were newly displaced in 2023 are actually millions that come in addition to millions of others who were previously displaced in years or even decades before that. So what kind of uh, situation do uh, internally placed people find themselves in? What kind of conditions uh, can they be living in? Yes, uh, this varies greatly actually from one country to another, as you can imagine, but also from one context to another, whether the person was displaced under conditions of violence and conflict, as we just saw in, in the news um, about Gaza or even Ukraine, or whether they were displaced in the context of preventative evacuations before a disaster, for instance. So these, these vary greatly. But what we do see, however, is um, a recurring trend that the people who were most vulnerable to begin with are hit the hardest. So they are the ones who are most at risk of being displaced and then who suffer the negative consequences of this displacement most. So uh, different situations, as you point out, uh, and presumably they need different things, but, but what can the international community do to help? Yes, uh, and indeed the international community does need to help because even though internal displacement is a national sovereignty issue and it falls in the responsibility of national governments to care for their displaced citizens, in many countries as we see in, in Sudan that you just mentioned and, and many others, actually the, the crises are so complex that they cannot do it alone. So what the international community can do about this is help raise awareness, help raise funding. Uh, fundamentally, this is the, the, the bulk of the issue is really the lack of funding and also invest in longer term solutions beyond the necessary humanitarian aid. We also need long term support for these displaced people, like I said, often displaced for years or decades. So you mentioned that this is a, a record that sadly keeps being broken. Uh, what happens next? Is there any hope of, of things improving or are we just going to see this record being broken once again? Well, we, we do want to have hope um, and we do highlight in our report that was just released today several examples of initiatives that governments have led or contributed to with their partners in different contexts and countries that are uh, helping to decrease these figures, but they are still in, in a much too small a scale to contribute to, to reducing the global figure next year. So what we fear is that with the rise of more conflicts this year, the continuation of the conflict in Palestine and in Sudan and in Ukraine, as just, you just mentioned, um, we are afraid that this figure will keep rising. So what we need to do is really invest further, uh, like I said, in longer term development solutions, but also, of course, in, in continued efforts for peace building in disaster risk prevention, climate change mitigation and, and more. Christelle, good to talk to you. Thank you for joining us today. That's Christelle Kazaba from the Internal Displacement Monitoring Centre.